gotta find guy named We will take the lift, I guess. Do you get attacked? Kidnapping. If 
Bye bye, good evil guys. Player. Change jobs, yeah. I 
got a book. Fear me, for I have the power of knowledge. Do you know what I want more than a staff that shoots fireballs? Knowledge. I want to see my outfit. Um, stand by, guard, stay, place. What is that to do with the battle scene? Hello. Oh wait, the, this is the, the, the spell bar that I was talking about. The pet bar. Yeah, I've, I've played it a long time ago. I gave it a try and I didn't really like it very much, but I've been getting into it. But that was on PlayStation 4 and the controls on PlayStation 4, in my opinion, kind of suck. Now that I have a computer, I'm going to give it another try. Okay, so I gotta drag it over here. Alright, gotcha. Oh, you got another one. Okay, what do you want me to do next? One of these are markers for those. Ooh, I'm tuning. Means to trap. Oh, 
so this is my return spell thing that's on my hotbar. Okay. Oh, sprint last for 20, for 10 seconds out of combat. Okay. Two return can be used to instantly travel back. Okay, so... Oh, potions. Potions are important. Do I have any? I have two potions that restore 35% of my HP. Put that on hot bar two. Shall we dance? Ooh, that's interesting. Does my class based on what weapon I have? Then if that's the case, can I just buy a new weapon? <laughs> Alright, so you're a food seller. Food you sell. Magic gear. Gear for level one and nine. These aren't weapons, these are armor. I don't want armor. Um, you don't look like someone who would sell weapons. Shop is maybe the shop farther down. Ooh, what, what's this? Market board. Um, hey, he has a book too. See the same thing as me. Oh, he's a he's a, he's a book. We fight with the power of knowledge. Like, uh, 
higher level where I can actually get it. Oh, nope. Treasure trunk. Oh, you give me a quest too. Memorize the quickies. Person can jump. Nothing hops. Let's Go down first. I don't sprint anymore. Run around with knowledge. All right. What? What's your quest? No, I don't want to be in a fisherman's guild. No. Okay, so red exclamation points equal guild. I don't want to be in a fisher guild. Um, oh, I passed where I need to go. I need to go this way. What's the end? Hello, buddy. 
do any guild stuff yet. Oh, oh. if the sprint lasted longer than 10 seconds should last oh 20 seconds but not in combat but it should not last longer than 20 seconds it should be like infinite one out of combat that would be terrible but I mean then I guess it would take away the reason to have a mount So does that mean I have to go back and talk to them, or...? Oh, okay, so... Should I go back and find his interest? supposed to talk to you. Here you go, here's my letter. And if I do your quest, you can find some quest. words. Are you prepared to reason? Sure. So if I talk to them, do I get a joke about them? That's cool. Let me go over there and see if I can get anything out. Oh,
hello person. Truck rope posters are available to hire upon a So I can't get a mount until I'm level 10. Then what if you were to buy a premium, like a uh, microtransaction mount? Would you not be able to use it till you're level 10? The upper desk. Ooh. Oh, it's this guy! Nothing. I like the idea of nothing. Because I didn't really pay attention to what you said. I've shown a good fear of listening even though I haven't really paid attention to it. person. Except. Is this, per is this person in field life? What are you? Oh, I can't, I can't do their guild mission. Can't do yours either. This crystal? The return crystal? I don't have any other crystals, I don't think. Yeah, I don't got any other crystals. The only crystal they've taught me about is that one. The big one. Hey, I got a scroll for you. Haha. <laughs> Cloud thing. Alright, where am I going next? Oh, no, we're, we're backtracking again. Upper deck. Oh. 
looks like all of these are up at the upper desk. I'm guessing if it says level 4, that means I can't do it, maybe? Uh, this quest is all over. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I should have rented one of those. If I do their quest, I get 122 gold. So can I join multiple of these guilds of the little like red with the quest and the key or am I only able to join one? If I can only join one, there's way too many options. So I can't come So I can't turn in that quest. Weird. So then can I hide quests? Um, not show that quest. Maybe I have to join the fisherman people to be able to complete his quest, maybe? Uh, uh, how do I kneel? I don't know how to do that. Oh, emote. Here's some advice. Um, sure, I guess? Oh, okay, emotes. Social. Emotes. Kneel. I, I kneel. Now we talk? Aha! Alright, I kneeled before him. You gonna give me a quest now? This is normal and self paced plan is possible to understand. Okay, so don't do his quest. Okay, I joined it though, and we're gonna go we're gonna put my thing on top of that. Um I'm guessing you want me to just join that chat room then, maybe?
Hello? Hey, how you doing? I am running in circles. <laughs> and not, this, this game's not that hard to figure out, my man. Oh, I'm sure I can figure it out. That's not the problem. Alright. Uh, what I was saying earlier was, uh, you see those small little crystals on the mini-map, right? Yeah. You can actually, if you already uh, attuned to them, you can actually teleport near or close by another crystal. So you can jump from one point of the map to the other side of the map just by going through those crystals. Yeah, it's kind of fun to just run around. I like doing the whole uh, holding my mouse clicker down, jump, and then like turn to the left. So I just kind of like do a spin in the air. Yeah. Um, most of the quests that you're doing right now, you have to do them because your level's too low to do the main story quest. Pretty sure you already read the symbol for the main story quest. It's the one with the fire ring, basically. Yeah, I've already done that. Yeah. Uh, story progresses a lot faster later on and is really, really good. Um, try not to miss out on the cutscenes and stuff oh, like I, that. Cause I plan on watching like, all the cutscenes and stuff. Yeah, because they, they have vocals in them. Uh, well, once in a while they'll have vocals uh, where they speak to you and stuff like that. It's really, really nice. Um, I was trying to figure see. out how to change my class earlier. Really. I couldn't figure it out. Ah, uh, yeah, well, uh, changing classes is, like, right now, at this point, what, what are you trying to do? Like, you trying to... Oh, I want to main a healer, but it wouldn't let me choose, it let me choose the Scholar, which I thought was, a, it sounded like it would be a healer. Uh, well, the Scholar does have a healing uh, effect, but it's more of a magical DPS. Let's see, I, I've done, I've done s some research on, like, classes and stuff, but... Yeah, um, what was I saying? let's see. Yeah, if you're if you're trying to become like a, a a scholar, yeah, a scholar is a healer. It's just that it has more of attacks also too. That's why. Um, if you go, let's see. If you click, I want to say it is uh, C. It, you're on a keyboard, right? So you put hit C. Ah, there it is. I was looking at being either in. Astrologist or the sage later on when I understand the controls more. Mm -hmm. Astrologist seems like it does all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, because right now you're a, a see you're it says right here. Penis. Yeah, it says your magical uh, range DPS. <laughs> you're like a heavy hitter, uh, heavy hitter on uh, magical. Uh, if you want to change that, you have to go to Cradania. I don't think I'm going uh, to have to go there yet. Yeah, um... Let's see. I'm trying to remember. There, I think there's a... I think the Sage... The Sage job is in that town that you're in. Oh, I can heal myself now. I'm killing rats. And ladybugs. Let's see. Big boy. What's this? Big one. 
That's a fate. Uh, those re require time to uh, kill. You do get re XP for it though. Uh, usually if you complete like three or five of them in a row for in the day, they give you a good amount of XP. Oh, that one hurt. Hey, you gotta watch your bottom right there for the area of the effect. The AoE skills they hit you with. It pops up as an orange, so like right there, he's about to hit you. As long as you move out of the space, it won't hurt you. Oh, nice. Can I make my pet cannon? Make my pet cannon? Uh, you click one of those top toggles on there, and it should say. Ah, uh, no, your pet's not doing anything. I think that's later on when your pet gets a little bit more better. I think your pet mostly is for healing right now, like he'll heal you. My pet don't do anything, it just gives me the options of making my Once you get to level 30, you become a black mage. Uh, that, that don't really fit my place. So I've seen black mage and <laughs> I, I like I to I like to just sit back. Be like, oh, your health is no longer low. Have fun. I I, I really want to say it's black mage, but I can't remember. Uh, well, you say you're an arcanist, right? Oh, never mind. I think that's the wrong. Class. Uh, I use the power of knowledge. Murder yeah. things. Hit him with a book. What happens if I die? Uh, like you reset. You reset back to your uh, your uh, home crystal. Your home crystal being like where you're set to, like your your home. So there's no like debuffs or penalties for dying? Now if you die in battle while in a raid or in a dungeon or something and somebody revives you, you get a one minute penalty for debuffs. Yeah, and usually it'll appear a little icon on your left side or um, top right corner near your uh, world that where it's say Excalibur or something right there, it'll be like right near it. It says here if you put your pet in guard, he should. Uh, it says order pet to refrain from attacking until you attack or are attacked. Well, I haven't heard. I've attacked? I died. I thought it would be smart to fight a level 12, but I started hurting him a lot. And I was like, oh, I got this. And then, I, then he hit me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch for those skills. See how you, you come back right here alive. That's your home crystal right there. Okay. Now you do got to watch for your armor. Now if you hit those little green dots on your right corner right there on the bottom right. That's your oh, armor. Durability. Yeah, if your durability goes down, it breaks. You can also go to a, a mender or an item shop. Sometimes they'll have a uh, repair. It has like a little tool uh, right next to it to uh, repair. So if it breaks, am I able to still repair it or does it like de-equipped and it's gone forever. I have never had it that low, so I really can't say. <laughs> uh, you see that crystal right there? Is that big one? Yeah. The etherite? Yeah, that's the right, one go, I'm tuned to. Yeah, go ahead and touch it real quick. I, I've already done that. Yeah, well, no, no, I'll teach you something real quick. So right click on it, and it's going to pop up uh, right there. It says ethernite, or ether. Uh, the first one, sorry. Oh, 
Oh, so I have to actually walk up and click on it to unlock the teleport. I can't just... Yeah. Like, see, like, oh, see how okay. see how you're right there. It says Arcanist Guild. Yeah. So, like, if you click... If you're right there in the middle and you're trying to get to the Arcanist Guild, all you have to do is click that crystal and teleport there. Oh, Sage's Path, level 70. It's a level 70 quest. Yeah, there's a uh, different quest. Um, if you're trying to get to be a healer... I mean, to be honest, the best way right now is just waiting. The other solution is start fresh again, but this time with the right class. <laughs> well, it only gave me the option of the, uh, three of them, and none of them were healing classes. Uh, the first one is the healing class. Because they, I'm pretty sure they gave you a, uh, a list of conjurer. Um, oh, yeah, the conjurer. That was the, I assume that one was just summoning things and making them attack for you. No, Conjurer is actually a white mage. I play a white mage. I'm not far. I can reset. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's like a yes and no. I mean, you already worked hard enough to get your character, you know what I'm saying? Mm, not really. Plus, I don't mind having to make a new class to be able to do what I want to do. I understand. Did you sign up for the, the trial? 30 day trial? Uh, I bought the one off Steam, the $19.99 one, so I got like a Ah, uh, man. Day. Yeah, if, uh, if you would have went online through uh, Final Fantasy, the actual Final Fantasy, they're doing the free trial up to level 60. Uh, yeah, that's the. Well, it wouldn't let me load any purchases. Like, I would try to load into my. Um... Uh, what's it called? I'll like go to Square Enix's site and try to load my account. Mm -hmm. And every time I tried, it just said, "Hey, error, sorry, we're not." Gonna Are you talking about you already ha you already had an account from Steam? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, for some reason, they do not like that at all. Trust me, I know what you're saying because I had a buddy go through the same thing. Like his Steam account is separate from a Square Enix account, but oh, no, they play on the same server. I'm not talking about like it wouldn't let me sign into my Square Enix account. Period. I wasn't trying to sign into it through Steam. I was trying to sign into it through uh, Square Enix. Yeah, the they have a little hazy program on that crap. Yeah, because I would hit sign in and it would just say error. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Um. I would say if you want, uh, well, I don't know where you're from, so. <laughs> I'm, in uh, I'm in the U.S. too. I'm in the East Coast. Uh, different worlds, man. That's all it is. Different servers. You get to play with different people. So you get to meet people. You get to not meet people. It's just all about worlds, I guess. Well, it wouldn't let me play on the one I wanted to play on. I wanted to play on the Siren server, but it said that I wasn't able to make any choices. So I'm on Excalibur. It's the one I decided to go to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Brun... I'm in Crystal World, but in Brunhilda. I think oh, Brunhilda. I'm in Primal. Yeah. Um, it, it's good to be there. You know, you get to meet a lot of people here and there to so watch. And a lot of, um, I don't know if you watch a lot of Twitch, but there are a lot of people on Twitch that actually do play yeah, there. Yeah, I, I got the main idea of playing this through, I, I started watching Asmongold lately, because I started playing mm -hmm. Lost Ark. Yeah. Oh, see, now this place looks more like the place I started when I played on the PlayStation 4. Yeah. Thing is, is uh, if you're if you're trying to sign in from your PS4 too, you would have been able to keep all your stuff. Uh, I was like level four on the PlayStation. I didn't like uh. the controls for the PlayStation. They weren't optimized to my liking very well. different classes started different uh, yeah if you're classes. like a marauder or something you would have started in a 
I want to say uh, Linda Mimosa or something. Like that. I can't remember. Oh, I did. I did like the other place more than this one. The other place definitely was more packed than this one. There doesn't seem to be a lot of people here. So, do I ever get a new emblem next to my name? This one's like a little flowery thing.
place definitely has less quests than the other place. character doesn't get a pet? So does my cure potency mean how much health it's going to heal me for?
Oh, yep, I gotta greet him with a bow. Okay. I was saying on emotes right there uh, click on the dude and don't uh, hold on uh, close that panel real quick okay close the emote panel I did all right so click on the girl okay and hit your enter button now hit forward slash and then type in dance Four slashes that left uh, right side key right next to the ship. And that's the easiest way to do like emotes. Oh. So like if they tell you, hey, do slash, uh, you know, slash joy, hit enter on your text box, then type in joy, you know, something like that. Yeah, it's, the, it's really, really easy because, man, there's going to be times where they're going to be like, hey, do this, and you're trying to look through your emotes and you can't find it. You can just be like, forward slash, because it, you know, it has the text right there on your on your right side, so you just type in whatever you see right there. <laughs> this guy is a red panda. Yeah, that's a mask, um, a minion. You can actually get little minions. You can get, like, little dragons. You can beat bosses and get them. So, do I ever get to change my little logo? I got like a little plant logo next to my name. Yeah, that's gonna stay on there for a bit because you're like new, like greenish. Get what I'm saying? That's oh. what they call a uh, a green weed, basically. <laughs> there is a way to get rid of it. Trust me, there is a get, there is a way to get rid of it. It just I I can't think of it on top of my head. Uh, go ahead and hit that picture uh, of Ogredania right there. Uh, you see on your little mini map? Okay. Go ahead and click. No, no, bring up the mini map. Sorry. Okay, and then hit Ogredania, like touch right there on the actual dot. Yeah, click on that. You see where it says Ogredania? Oh, uh, old. I thought you were saying Og. I was like, what? No, no. Ogredania, hit it. And it'll bring you to where it wants you to go. Like, but they want you to go to the marketplace. And then, so, yeah, the, let me go over here. yep. So, that would tell you, like, where the nearest place is to you. Ah, okay. Once you get those attuned to those crystals more, you can teleport, like, back and forth. Because there's going to be a lot of teleporting and walking and stuff like that. Of course, you can always get the feel for it. Walking is better to see, like, oh, I know where I'm at right now. Oh, I gotta go back. 
So how do I get my pet back? I don't got my pet anymore. No, on this class you don't have that. Option. Oh, okay. Now so it's a class thing. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a it's a class thing. Now let's say later on that you don't want to be a white mage no more. You can actually switch classes. Um, you can be you know anything else. You can be archer, marauder. That's all if you want to. I'll swap between the four different healing classes. The main healing is gonna be this one. You're gonna like trust me. You're gonna be looking around like, what the heck are these people doing? Can't they listen? Especially your tanks. They're gonna be the one trying to tank everything, thinking that you're. Oh yeah, he's a seasoned pro. He knows what he's doing. Next thing you know, you're getting overwhelmed. They give like, God dang it. I have a decent idea of how to heal. I've... Every other MMO I've ever played, I run the healing class. When I played yeah. the most, though, is Neverwinter, but they fucked that one all up last update, <laughs> so I'm not touching that one anymore. They took away all my tier 15 crystals. If I wouldn't have spent so much money on those crystals, I would not have cared if they took it off, but I did, and I... You see that crystal right there in the middle? Yeah, that one I'm going to talk to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and... Yep. And then you can just keep on walking down to the check marks to get um, anything you want. Now, that right there that you was just at was the market. You can actually go to any of the shop vendors there and they have like different stuff you can buy items meals uh material the craft and stuff like that of course right there you just attune to the leather work so if you want to be a, a leatherman or whatever you can actually find where that red key is uh, of course you can't do it the ones with the red key is means you're not high enough level or it's not unlocked yet so it will then it says right there so do you want to be a leather worker so Stuff like that. Am I able to be more than one? <laughs> yes, actually, uh, like right now, currently for me, um, like right now, I'm playing as a white mage. I have not beat the game myself yet, but I've been playing this game far enough. <laughs> uh, like right now, my main, my main class, what I started was, was a white mage. I'm level 84 currently. Um, but my, I have a dark knight. He's level 30. I have an archer level six, and then I have Arcanus level twenty, and uh, I forgot the other magic the one that I have. I think he's like level mage. Rich. No, it's the first one. I forgot the. I forgot what the. Yeah, the little orange bubble will tell you a hint where to uh, look for. You see those little, little vegetable off. Go up to him, right click, and this is like that other right. thing I had to do for the other guy. Yeah, you're gonna be doing like some of the quests that when you start out in the beginning, they're familiar, they're just different areas or locations. But all they're doing is trying to get you to do little quests so you can level up to like level four, level five. Um, later on, when you get better at the game, you're gonna start doing um, down there is that little book on your red circles right there on the bottom right. The logs. Yeah, you're going to be doing those logs. You can do hunting logs to get extra XP. Uh, you can do uh, challenge logs. If you click on it, you hit challenge and they'll tell you what they want you to do daily or every other day. And it has a timer. So like, go ahead and hit the book, open it, just, just look at it real quick and they'll tell you like what they want you to do. Go ahead and tune to that crystal too. Ah, oh, he, he can't even bring it up. Oh, I didn't hey. see it, so I kind of walked past it. That's fine. Now, you, you don't have it unlocked yet. I'm guessing they want you to be a little bit more level. Yeah, once you, uh, once you get those things, like, like mine, I currently haven't, I gotta go to work here in a bit, so I can't do any of them. I'll do them tonight. Uh, so for me tonight, it says do three dungeons the, uh, via the duty roulette. So 
they want me to do three dungeons and I get 7,000 oh, no I read that wrong I get 780,000 XP just for doing three dungeons plus the dungeon XP that I get from already in the dungeon is that a lot? Uh, do it this way right now I'm level 84 I have currently 500,000 569,000 my bad XP and I need 7,948,000 to level gonna, up that ain't gonna scratch your XP bar <laughs> that's like uh, that's just gonna get me just to the next million XP total basically um God, so in other words, if I ever want to hit 90 on anything, I gotta become a no life. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, trust me. Uh, when I went from like level 60 into level 80 in like a week, and I played right after work. I played like two hours right after work, and I kept on going doing that for a while. See, I, I um, more than two hours a day. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, I mean, there were times where like, like the weekend, like this weekend, I'm gonna be playing with, uh, just doing little raids and dungeons, trying to level up. I, I want to max out the character, but I want to beat the le I want to beat the main story quest. Um, I want to beat that and then get done. Attune to that crystal also. Huh. Yeah, the the sprint thing sucks. Yeah, um, twenty seconds for and then have to wait forty seconds. People do not really a good trade. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, it's gonna be like that unless you get a mount. Uh, mounts, you can't even run with the mounts, but later on in the game, you can fly with your mounts, no matter yeah, what I've it seen, is. I, I got a, those. I got a unicorn, bro, and it fucking flies. Uh, <laughs> I watched Asmongold re react to all mounts, and there's some. I want the one for having all the different, uh, like wolf fox mounts. Uh huh. I want the final tier one of that, but I feel like that's gonna be a long way away. Yeah, no, um, you can actually unlock them, like whatever mount you want. You can actually go into a dungeon and keep doing that same dungeon, and eventually you can grab it. Uh, it's by chance. Yeah, it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have that many things as much, so some mounts. I got a chocobo, a black chocobo. I got a big ass eagle, a unicorn. I got a Aryan, which is a, a mount, uh, a horse mount. And I got Midgar Soro. It's a dragon. They want you to go down to the Conjurer's Guild. Keep going. Yeah. Go the, that I, way. Yeah. I think I might call it a break for now. I was just giving it a test and get used to some of the controls. I'll probably play it for more to like in like a few hours or so. Oh, uh, okay. But not if you ever have anything you need to ask, just send me a message through Discord. This is my Discord. Um, just hit me a text or something. Uh, don't mind. Um, even if I'm at work, I'll, I have it on my phone, so I can just text. Won't be able to talk, but I can at least, you know, give you some hints or some clues. That way you can get through the game. Uh, once you get better at it, you trust me, you probably won't even need me. You'll be like, hey, how you doing once in a while? <laughs> well, I mean, we can't... Re Are you able to play with other people in different, like... Uh... We What's can do called? a cross... You can do raids, basically. Awesome. But like if that's you, about it. that's dungeons and raids. That's the only thing we can do together. Now, in order for me to play with you, I have to be in the same world. Like if I wanted to be a, your mentor, where I can be like, hey man, all you do is attack, and I heal you while you you know you're getting attacked, or I can join you in a uh, level sync 
where I can sink to your level and we can fight enemies together and you'll get XP and I'll get XP of course but it helps you level up faster basically it's called the mentor system but uh, go ahead man uh, take your time and get to know this game uh, it's not that hard it's really easy I don't even uh, know if I'm able to change after I've chose the area I'm in after cho choosing primal um I want to say you got to go to worlds uh, or the data center uh, I want to say you got to back to the main menu to the data centers I think Ah, you said you're on crystal. Yeah, see right there. I'm on Brunhilder. Yeah, you gotta change the data center. But that's only if they're allowing people to, you know, enter worlds. Uh, which one did you say you're on? Brunhilder? I'm on, I'm, yeah, I'm on Brunhilder NA. Oh, uh, we'll see if it lets me. Well, you got to think about it, too. If you have more, a lot of characters, sometimes it won't let you, uh, um, what's it called, uh, sometimes it won't let you join if you have too many characters sometimes. That's the only bad part about stuff like that. Mm. I kind of like, oh, I'm able to make my hair two different colors? Oh, but it don't, you can't really tell. You do that. So. We're just gonna go with white again. So, do these play any role in what I choose? The little, uh, like. Yes, actually they do. Oh, As they the do? the twelve the twelve gods. Yeah. Um, oh, I was just choosing the one. That each was the each of each symbol has a difference in like the dexterity, uh, vital stuff like that. Like you know that plays, but if, you really don't know that stuff in the beginning. So you're like, oh, I wonder what symbol looks good, you know, or what should I play as? Uh, most people that actually do get into the game, like hardcore into it. They literally look up the 12 gods. They'll be like, oh, what's the 12 gods of Final Fantasy? Because um, you'll hear those a lot, like, by the 12 or something like that. You know, somebody speaking in the game, the 12. Um, each god has a lot of stuff. Like, for me, I put, uh, I think it's uh, Menaphia or something like that. The Lover. Um uh, it, it's just it is you have to go into there and look at them like what you want to do exactly and they don't even give you that much of a uh, uh of a hit okay let's see um okay here here it is player guardian so for that one the one that you're currently on it look like a scholar book mm -hmm. let's see you get a plus two in fire plus two in ice plus two in wind Plus three in earth, zero in lightning, and level uh, four in water. So it's just a slight raise in character elemental resistance based on the elements you chose of your deity. So if you chose him, you got resi or that guy, you got resistance plus two on almost everything except for lightning, which is zero. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's weird that that's all like all you want to have to do is go like go online go to google or something type in final fantasy you know ff uh iv 14 the 12 guardians and they'll bring up like their stats of what they are i mean i'm already doing that uh the only problem is i don't know there's so many that give different information, but then you go to a different site and it says the complete opposite. Yeah, the main, uh, let's see if I can find it. 
actually, you got, let's see. Go to the fandom. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna post it up on Discord. Yes. I'm assuming I'll want to int in mind for healing right that's what it normally is 2022. you want for for conjurers um looks like i'm gonna want to go with elizen because they get 23 to intelligence and 20 to wiz uh to mind which one's that um, which one is it? Was all right. The one it's telling me is not an option. No, but you probably got the wrong Final Fa or Final Fantasy in there. <laughs> Final Fantasy fourteen: A Realm Reborn. Races and classes. No, oh, that's the races. That's the oh, race. Oh. Like, let's see how you're a cat person. Yeah, I'm not changing my race. I like my cat ears. <laughs> uh, okay, I posted up a link right there on uh, on Discord. If you click on that one. Uh, okay. All right. And you scroll down to player guardian, and that's all. All it is is uh. The effects I want whichever one makes my healing as strong as physically possible but th this is more of effects for resistance the guardians are your resistance like what God protects you oh so it's your... not gonna affect my healing at all no oh, the only okay. thing that'll affect your healing will be your uh, your race Okay, so you're a, uh, I forgot what kind of... Oh, I don't remember the name of what it says I am. Uh, I wanna... A Macaui? Macau Sounds like that. Yeah, I wanna say, okay, so their base stats... Their, okay, I found it. So their base stats, your strength is plus 22, vitality is plus 20, dexterity plus 23, intelligence plus 19, Mind oh plus yeah, 19. I know what my starting attributes are. When I pick Keeper of the Moon, it says Strength 19, Dex 22, Vite 18, Intelligence 21, Mind 23. Mm -hmm. Which sounded good to me. Yeah, that's usually what people go for. For yeah. uh... I wish I could swap my Dex with my Vitality, but you know, life can't be perfect. Well, it... go look at the Keeper of the Sun. Yeah, the Keeper of Sun, your intelligence and mind drops to 19. Yeah, that's the bad part, but it switches. See where you say your strength and your te dexterity switch? Yeah, but I don't want to lose the mind. I mean, I want to keep the intelligence and the mind and just swap my decks with my vitality. Well, okay, in in game. Dang it, I forgot to close my game. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to log back in real quick, I'll tell you. So, it's weird. I'm gonna um, stick with the, the book scroll. God. Yeah, he, he got plus two everything, plus three on earth, and zero on lightning. So if you get attacked by lightning, you get get those zap zap zap. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, select a different one. You want Grim the What's <laughs> a lot of anime? I could recommend you a name. <laughs> it's just weird giving it, somebody else a name besides my kids. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm, I'm fine with that one. I mean, my nickname on my Discord server is Hajime. Uh, or no. Yeah, Hajime Nagamo. 
main character from my favorite anime. Yeah, they just started season two not too long ago. And I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it either, man. Damn. The world is currently full. Players in queue, 14. Hit, just leave it there and it'll log you in. Yeah, uh, this world does get full, but it doesn't where you're not waiting like Lost Ark style. Oh, so how long does it take for me? Just you leave it. Don't, don't leave cancel. Oh. Don't cancel it. Just leave it alone. Does the queues normally go by quite quickly? It, it goes by quick. Trust me, you're going to be waiting less than a minute, maybe two. I've never been in the game where I waited more than 10 minutes or five, actually, for that matter of fact. A little change to, to that. Oh, oh, it's already done. Yeah. Alright, skip cutscene. I've already seen it. Player guide. Oh, no, don't. Oh, oh, oh I accidentally turned on my auto clicker. <laughs> I should probably close that, huh? Oh, why is my person walking backwards? Oh, I have to talk to him, that's right. player guide on my hotkey bar. I'll swap player guide with sprint button. Now I don't have to click on uh, the little thing every time I want to sprint. I can just click 9 and it'll be fine. Yes, I've already seen this one. Oh, this person has a little pet deer. Man, I keep forgetting to read what this person tells me, and I'm just gonna go with nothing every time. That's gonna be nah, my they, strat. Nothing. They, every time. They're just gonna tell you about your like adventures and stuff like that. Like. I have to let my friend know that I changed what server I'm going on to. Because originally I was going to start with one of my friends and we do it together at the same time, but I got tired of waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, to, uh, well, he can still join. Tell him to do the free trial. I mean, well, he doesn't have internet at the moment. Ah, that sucks. So my character is right behind you. I should have teleported to where you're at. Oh, you're stalking me now, huh? No, I know where everything that <laughs> most of the time. Alright, so I gotta I gotta hide now. I mean I wouldn't last very long on streaming, so it wouldn't be that hard to find me. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where I went last time. I think right I here, what? Right here, stop. Oh, you're the one for okay. Yeah, I think you right click on my character and then examine. Okay. Your character is white. It's like a, mm -hmm. a lot of white. Yeah, uh, I can't help it. I like the, the color. Either that or red. Uh. 
I don't know, I haven't made it far enough to think about what I'm gonna do for uh, cosmetics. Now, in this game, it's not that hard. Character jumps really high. That's such a very impressive. You should be able to see it here. But, um, got yeah, buddies. They want me to join a different game. All right, Have fun. Yeah, they want me to go play Call of Duty with them. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Call of Duty. I'm too slow for that now. That's too much work. And yeah. pissing me off too easy. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna just play one game with them and I'm gonna like, I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my kids from school. Alright. Well, like I said, if you if you wanna um, I'll be on this whole weekend and yesterday was my birthday, so I told my wife I was like, yeah, I wanna be left alone, play a game all day tomorrow. And then <laughs> I, was, I found out I have to work today. And I was like, crap, now I want my Saturday instead. Well, happy late okay. and a, or, uh, birthday. That's the that's good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I didn't even get to eat cake because my kids killed it all. <laughs> I don't like cake that much. Oh, man. It depends on the cake for me. I actually, they bought me a marble cake, I guess, and uh, they killed it all. I'm like, man. I'm at work chilling and they're like, hey, we ate it all. That's messed up. I, I'm more of a go and buy a pack of cookie dough and I'm just going to eat it raw type of person. Because <laughs> no one else is going to want to eat raw cookie dough in my house, so I don't have to worry about sharing it. <laughs> like I said, once your friend joins in there, if you're, as long as you keep doing the main story quest, you level up fairly fast. My biggest thing is, uh, will he spawn in the same starting place as me? Because he's uh, okay. So if he wants to play like a tank or something, it just depends. But once you get to like level ten or I want to say level eight to ten, you start exploring the other towns. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, you're in Gradania right now. If you wanted to go to uh, Linsa Mimosa where you were at earlier. He can travel there, or you can travel there. You know what I'm saying? It just you got to get a little bit ahead on your story mode. Your story will take you a lot of places, and uh, you start expanding. You're gonna start be like, oh, there's more people here. I'd rather come here. Um, the shopping is almost the same thing too. The market boards. If you want to go buy something there, you can buy it at the same place that you're at now. But. Buying it somewhere else means different tax. They actually have tax in this game. So, like, if you're trying to sell something, you're like, oh, yeah, we want 3% of your uh, your total income that you're making. So, so I'm going way... to uh, chill at the cheapest area possible. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you, you, what you got, 160 coins? 103. Okay, well, it'll go up fast. Like for me right now, like, trust me, for me, I'm broke. Considered that all these players have more money than me, I'm over here. Like, if I have a, like, right now, I have 1.4 million, and there's people out here, like, oh, yeah, that, that's that's an hour of work for me. I was like, what? <laughs> Especially these miner gatherers and leather workers, because they re fix, repair, and make um, armor or items that you probably need possibly you can charge whatever you need you know what i'm saying 
So like, yeah. if you're trying to get high level items and you're you're trying to find somebody to make you high level items, you're gonna be paying a good hefty penny for it. it sounds like me in New World. Just the only problem with me in New World is, in the total of like 20 or 30 hours I put into it, about 80 percent of it was me cutting down trees and selling it for cheaper than what everyone else was selling it for. So mine sold and theirs didn't. Yep, that's usually how it goes here too. Uh, here in Final Fantasy, it's kind of frowned upon, but people still do it. Like you see an item, they're like, "Oh yeah," uh, you can actually compare previous items that have been sold. Like you'll give you a list of what those items have been sold for, for in the last couple of days. So like if you see an item that oh they, they want seven thousand for it, but you see it like oh somebody sold this for sixty five hundred, you know, three days ago and eight days ago and stuff like that you're like oh well this is selling for this price how many people want to buy more than seven thousand dollars you know what i'm saying i live on the strategy of selling it for less than everyone else that way mine sells no oh, i do the same thing trust me like I'm... right here the right here where you're at right there that's the marketplace and you got the market board it's those big boards right there where everybody's just bunched up on I'm gonna stay away from that because I'm sure I'll end up seeing something I want and then I'll want it so bad uh, that trust I put me. money into the game and I don't want to do that. <laughs> nah, trust me, you will not use in real or you will not use real currency to buy here. You use that coin currency you have in game, but so the I market board you, I I have never bought anything that I didn't need. The only thing I really needed were potions, food, and uh eaters or uh, so you're not able to buy like a real life mount like with real money and then turn around and sell it on the market yeah um when you buy mounts you actually okay so there's different currency you got in-game currency so if you hit character or the little first dot the little first red dot on your corner you go to currency i want to say it's control hang on z I say it's Control C to bring it up. Hello. Thank you. You're gonna send me an invite. Now you're not even on. That's messed up.
This person has a chair next to their name. Uh, they're idling. Like if you use uh, more than five minutes or something, you're, you can change that too in your settings. Because this one has like a blue looking squarey circle thing. Uh, he's looking for a quest, a uh, guild hest, I think. got a little plant next to your name too yeah no that's what I'm saying sometimes it'd be like that but I got some potions here that would be no more I restored a little health that's why so why is your name orange then uh whenever you become friends and stuff you can actually choose to what you want them to be So on the uh, on characters here, you got you got different stuff you have to worry about um, due to level, I guess. You have item level and then job level. Yeah, you got actual level and then item level. So go ahead, and just hit accept it. Okay. Now, um, on your character, you can go the little green dots. Green dots. Yeah, the little green dots, your character items, basically. First, uh, all right. Right there where his, the little blue soldier or little thing is recommended. Oh, I just put on what you gave me. Uh, well, I was going to show you something real quick. It'd be easy. Recommended gear. Yeah. Whenever, uh, whenever oh. you get new items, just hit the recommended gear and then hit equip and it'll automatically mm -hmm. equip the best, you know, whatever. I was trying to show you something. I knew you probably had better gear than mine. Uh, and then you hit equip and that's it. 
But later on, you can do it like this. See, watch my character. Later on, you can just go and create a tab. And you can hit select. And you see how my level dropped? If you click on it now, you see my level drop. No, I don't see my level. I, oh, go ahead, click on me. Oh, examine. Yeah, oh, you see man, you how. Now you're level 20. Yeah, watch this. Uh, like if I wanted to. But it tells you what class I am, too. See, it says Arcanus. And then if I change again. That's my, my, my goal is going to be to max every healing class. Oh, I'm naked. <laughs> Which, you don't really get a lot of skills, do you? You mean, Nina? 4, 10, 12, 18, 30, 46, 50, and then you have all of them. Okay, uh, watch this. Uh, you're on Discord still, right? Yeah. But, uh, I'll give you. Okay, watch this. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Okay, so my screen is up. Is up. I see it. Okay, so let me change classes real quick. Mm, so you got a lot more skills than what it shows. Well, once you get to level 30, you unlock these other actions. You see, your class is your beginning class. You know what I'm saying? Oh. The, the beginning class, you only get this. If you see up to Medica, it says level 50. Mm -hmm. Okay, once you get to level 30, you are officially a white mage. And then you get these right here. And once you get those, you get your rolls. Um, well, which you should already have your rolls regardless. You just have to wait to what level to unlock them. And then your traits is what your class evolves to. So like, master, right here it says stone mastery. It says upgrade stone to stone two at level 18. And then later on, you get to level two. It says upgrade uh, stone two to level three at level 54. And so on. Then you start getting more uh, different kind of classes. And you get your whole hot bars where you can fight more. Uh, let me see if I can show you a real quick fight. Make it easier. I'm going to be. I think the only way I would do DPS is if I went like a samurai. Samurai looks pretty cool. Or a yeah, paladin. A Paladins are cool. Yeah, a lot of people go with the dragon uh, DPS fight. Yeah, but the samurai looks cool. My friend wants to be the ninja. Whatever one that is. I'm trying to fight. Too low level, but all right. So later on, you start getting powerful spells. One hit. Try to find somewhere. I can't remember where. I mean, it's a, it's not a really good show of damage when you're fighting level know. 37. I know, right? Enemies. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the astrologist, she does like ridiculous amount of stuff. She heals, buffs. Yep, heals, buffs, and attacks. Uh, See, I, I, I would good. focus more on the healing and the buffing part and not the attacking part. Okay, so you got this guy right here. Um, this, this is He 
doesn't really hurt you very much. I hurt him again, I'm not letting him. <laughs> that, uh, you step out of the way from when they attack, man, it's easy. Because you can see it when they're about to attack. See, this, this attack that I'm using wholly, it's a, it stuns them for about three seconds. He's unable to execute action. Let's see, if he wants to attack me, I can just let him know like that. Man, I got too high resistance. That dodge. All his moves he's doing is he dodge. Staying still and I dodge him. And then, of course, I can. I got healing, like. Instant heal right here says restores all HP to target. So if I want to play with a friend and you're dying, I can just instant heal you. Like full max health. You got this one, creates a little barrier on you. The... Okay, so I just. So what's up with the weird berries staff looking thing next to your skills? Which one? The weird staff looking thing with berries growing on it. That's next to your emotes. This one? No, no, it's like an act it's like an actual thing. On the far it has like oh, a glowing. Oh, he's talking about these right glowing. here. Yeah. Uh that's called your your lilies. So lilies, you see it says right here, sol uh, the solace one right here, it says Restores target HP, cures 700, and efficient will nourish your blood lily, which I will burn one of these blue lilies. So let's see. Burn one, it'll cost one. And you see how it, it turned red right here? Um, yes. Okay, so what? Uh, uh, let burn another one. And another one. Okay, so that's my blood lily right there. Now, my Blood Lily, I can use this spell right here. Because it says, can only be executed when the Blood Lily is full bleed blue. So, deals unexpected damage to target and all enemies nearby with a potential of 900 to the first enemy and 25% less to all remaining enemies. So, if I want to attack this guy with this, the 14k to him. And then, if anybody was near him, he would have got a more damage. And this will generate itself. Watch it. Uh, it's generating little by little. See how it's going up? Yeah. yeah every 30 seconds, one of the leaves there. And so of course is, you can... he, where it says cure potency, is that how much it's healing? Or is that just like my uh, how much in the stat I have? No, that's how much it's healing. So I have a 450 heal, but my max HP is 104. Yeah. <laughs> Logics. Ah, that's how it is. Um, somebody was telling me that it's for me. I think it's different. I want like for me instantly. Uh, this spell that I'm casting, Glare Three. Uh, if you ah, read so it you right just here, said 55 health restored. So yeah, I was gonna say is not the number of how much health you get back. Yeah, I was gonna say it can go up to that much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, let's see. When you get higher levels, man, it, it just weird. I, I I never got that much with the cure currency with this. I was like, uh, they need to add, like, more on this, more information. <laughs> it's, it's called YouTube videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the good thing is, uh, once you get better at it, uh, I like doing this right here, especially when you're raiding. Uh, Swift cast is awesome for reviving people that went down. Because all you have to do is, like, they went down, you hit Swift cast, and then you hit raids. Because you see raids right there, it says 7 seconds, uh, 7.65 seconds. So you're literally chanting. But th this right here is a 2 second, or what is it? 2.39 dial slow just right there imagine doing it for seven seconds it's even slower 
See, from what I've seen, uh, if you play the, uh, I think it was the, the, uh, the Sage, apparently you have a lot of, like, shields and stuff. Yeah, they are more of a protecting, uh, not then, really more. Like, they have heals built into their shields, but it's not like um, yep. G heals. It's more of a, you're not going to die because I said so. Okay, let's see. I'm going I'm to sink to level 75 real quick. to embrace nature. Um, sure. <laughs> I can totally trust what looks like a 12-year-old with horns coming out of his head. Man, they really want to kill me now. This thing is, but it's telling me to use it. Person so rude, calling me loud. <laughs> I might be loud, but you are adopted. Yeah, this character—it's uh, funny some of the dialects in there. I guess you want to say my character don't even talk. What are you talking about? I'm loud. Uh, your your character—you're uh, playing as her right now, but your main character. Supp like how the game follows you. I don't know if you've seen the trailer. You follow the uh, I think it's the Marauder dude. And uh, basically you're seeing seeing the story through his eyes. I don't know if you watched the trailer to the game. That's why. Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I mean, not many people watch the trailer to the game. That's why. <laughs> Oh, it's want me to go to this place, but there's no way there. No, oh, right there. You see that little bubble, the red arrow? Go to the right. Go Where? back. I don't see a red arrow. Click, click on the map again. Go left. You see, you see the little bubbles right there on your mini map on your right corner. 
that's uh, that's an entrance or an exit. Oh. Okay. Go ahead, go through it. Yeah, but now the quest is gone. It's not even here anymore. It's trying to make you go to that quest down there. You see the check mark with the fire on it? Oh, yeah, multiple quests, that's why. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of them. That's why I'm like, uh, okay. Don't know what it is. Yeah, if you, click what, if you click what quest you want to do, like right here where it says, like, increase in sensibility or click on one of those quests, it'll only bring up that quest, but you'll still have the other ones just nearby. See, I have no clue which quest I'm doing. I'm just going to where there's a green check mark. <laughs> I don't care if it's a side quest, a big quest, as long as it gives me something, I'm finishing it. <laughs> yeah, the main quest is going to be that one with the fire ring on it, so... You're going to have to do some of those little by little. Oh, she don't want to give me a quest anymore. I'm not cool yeah. enough. They're gonna ask you to get to like a couple levels up. Try to go finish the other ones. You see, you got uh, slay got all squirrels, kinds lady of bugs. Them. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go over here because it says there's a thing over here. They click on the mini map, it'll take you to that location. Like where you wanna see where you need to go. So you have to go to Ogre Dania. There's two quests there, so yeah, it's telling you. You have two oh, quests there, there's then. one up there, and then there's... Ah, she don't want to talk to me. She just tells me I'm loud. She's an asshole. I don't know how to change that back. She's like, no, I don't want to talk to you. You're not cool enough. Man. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine thought he had to do all the quests. I'm like, no, you, you don't have to do all the quests. The main ones are the story quests, but if you need to level up real quick, then yes, do the main, the, you know, do the, some of the side quests. But other than that, once you finish some of these side quests, you don't have to do them because if you were trying to level up your other characters, you can have them. With those level I do all the side quests. Main ones that you're gonna want to do the side quests is gonna be the ones with the plus symbol right next to it. Those are like story quests that would need, that you would need. Side story quests. I do them all. That way they're not on my map anymore. Yeah. Uh, right there. Just hit the hit the crystal on your left. Oh, but I don't know what's down here. I haven't been this way. There's oh, a little okay. trophy over here. Uh, those are your achievements, I think get to unlock them later. Oh, hey, there's a person over here. I know I'm not going to read whatever you have to say in there. Oh, hey, there's another person there. Today. Oh, he has a baby, uh, baby chocobo with a crown. Uh, Am I able to interact with it? I think so. You can't. You gotta click on the Kick it. No, but see. <laughs> I, I didn't see a kick option. <laughs> My bad. Didn't mean to. It just happened. I, I, it. It, it sneezed on my shoe and I was trying to wipe the sneeze back onto it. I was trying to return your property. Oh, this guy has a little pet too. He has like a little ghost. You, you're gonna start getting them. Um, you can't sell or trade them. That's the bad part. You can't even give them to your friends. Uh, but like, let's say you go online. I don't see the point of buying it. It's... Oh, I've already claimed that one. Go straight to the right. Now let's see if let's see if she's just gonna tell me I'm being loud again, or if she's actually gonna talk to me this time. Uh, 
But yeah, the, like I said, this class right here is going to be your main one for your uh, healing. All your healing spells. It's low DPS, but um, you can still do damage. See, don't let me turn it in. It says complete, but it's grayed out. Oh, you, no, you got to choose. See, right there it says option. Oh. Yeah, when they have those options right there, is where you have to choose one or the other, and then it'll help you know, stay complete. Oh, the game could have explained that a little better. And that's it. Grade one dark. Gosh, she's being so loud, calling me loud. Ooh, I got a new skill. Deal wind damage for fire. Okay, so a damage ability. It's uh, a yeah. damage over time. Lasts 18 seconds. Alright, let's see here. Mm. You can change your hotkeys depending on how you want your uh, bars to come up on. Oh, I mean, uh, all the but all but these two do every button on my mouse. I don't know what these buttons do. My 11 and 12. Uh, this one brings up systems. And this one makes a ding noise. I don't know what the ding noise is, but it makes a ding noise. Well, each character, oh, like I say, each one is different. You it, can it, program your hot bars. It, it'll bring a little hot. finger. It brings up a little finger that points at character. Oh, I'll change it later. So we're going this way. This one says there's a check mark. Oh. I got a little yeah, you... 10 for mapping. Yeah, you get XP for mapping. Also, see it says 48 XP right there. Oh, he's gonna die from Is there not basic attacks? Hit stone one. There you go. I, I mean, there's not like a basic like little spell ball you shoot out or something? Mm, you actually shoot it out, you see it. <laughs> well, I mean like... It's like a generic auto attack. If you go up to attack him, all you can do is hit him with a stick. It's hilarious. I like him with my stick. Yeah, that's all this guy can do, literally. I hit him so hard he died. One shot. No chance. Totally didn't use a wind spell and a rock spell first. <laughs> nah, that's the only bad part about, uh... You have to keep spamming your... It don't have auto, uh, you know, casting or whatever. Oh, you have to even click individually on auto attacks. Well, on auto attacks, it, it should do it itself. Uh, but... Okay, so click on your character. Uh, your, your green dots. Got my character up. Okay, so go to your staff right there where it has your staff, okay. and you'll see that it'll tell you like basic status. Like just hover over it, you'll see basic status. Yeah, Auto gonna... attack, eight seconds, fifty-three. <laughs> per, it takes you eight <laughs> seconds to swing a stick. That's right. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Your auto attack, you rather just go ahead. By the time you, by the time you auto attack, you're gonna release two additional spells. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. If you're a warrior or something like that, that's different, of course. You know, because your skills plus their, uh, their attacks, you know, different. I still feel like you should be able to swing a stick faster than this. It's not even a. It's not even like a. Thick staff, it's just like a little twig with a twist. 
Does it have like so much magical power that it can't shoot anything? Well, it's like, you know, it's like, uh, you're really a, a mage, so you're not really supposed to be, you're supposed to stay in the background, heal, and attack. Well, I'm pretty sure if you were a healer and something got close enough, you'd be swinging your staff like a crackhead, not like a, yeah. uh. <laughs> Right there where you just did that arrow, you'll see that, uh, hit the ladybug. If you hit arrow on them, you see on the top where it says arrow right next to their ladybug name, right under it. It's, it has a counter counting down. That's how long they're they're getting attacked by the arrow uh, potency, I guess. It, it does damage over time. That's on this. You need to find fungus. I kill fungus. Gotta go looking around. Be really careful, there are some strong characters around there that are like level 20 or up. Oh, I ain't scared of no level 20s. Says you still got uh, your other care. Um, your other quest right there says you got to kill three out of six uh, ladybugs also. Oh, I didn't see that. One. And then your other one says you got to kill uh, three. Fungus. Yeah. Oh yeah, you uh, you can take fall damage, so be careful. Some of the fall damage is kind of stupid because you can fall off a building that's like 40 feet tall and survive with one health, and then you'll be at the bottom where like you have monsters that have aggro on you. You landed there and they just killed you. I <laughs> had that happen once. And I have to start using that map too. Uh, it's annoying. Um, yeah, you see they have coordinates on the map right there, on the right side. Oh, the over there. Yeah. Yeah, it has the coordinates. Once in a while, they'll sit, they'll tell you, "Oh, head over to this coordinates, and uh, there should be something nearby." I don't know where it says that. I don't see it say that. The coordinates you see it says X twenty eight. Yeah, I, I mean I don't see where it says. Uh, oh no no no! It is. No, so, um, later on in the game, sometimes you have stuff like that, like you have to head to the quarters. Hit him with the stick. Yeah, playing a white mage is, uh, it's fun. Um, they have a lot of strategy guys for white mage strategy. Not be stuck, guide. Mm -hmm. There's a swarm of bugs. Yeah, oh, hey. Usually, they usually will be nearby, so you probably have to travel a little bit more down south, right there where those houses are at, probably. Bro, the opo po opos are just fucking the air. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're air thrusted. Those are the greatest enemies in this game. How do I get up to this quest? It says it's right there. No, no, no. That quest is telling you, it says, see how it has that placard on it and it says Ogredania? It's telling you to go back to Ogredania oh. to turn oh, in the quest. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's lying you see to him, me. Yeah, anytime you see him like that is because you're probably nearby and they want you to go into the city or something. Gotcha. Oh, if I click tab, it changes who I'm looking at. We're just gonna keep going down here. Oh, hey, it's one of those. Uh, level 8 monsters. 
Oh, and a level 37 monster. Yeah, those, uh, those fates, uh, fates are, uh, a little bit tough to do if you're, you don't know what you're doing, uh, because sometimes you'll be doing it by yourself. Once in a while, you'll find people actually fighting with them, and it's easy to join when people are fighting, but when you're by yourself, sometimes there'll be a group of them, like, oh, you have to face three or four monsters at a time, and you have to kill them all. They click on that face system and you can read it. Oh, they're attacking you. Yeah, I was like, where the hell am I getting hit from? Uh, yeah, th those fake ones, you gotta be careful. Uh, because they auto-attack. You see how he has that purple symbol? You're getting attacked by one, three of them. Yeah, but they're only level two. They don't hurt. Yeah, you gotta watch your health in there. That monster right there, that big tree sapling, whatever, if you get close to them, they actually have aggro on you, so they'll actually join in on the fight zone. that blue bar right there goes uh, all the way to the finish. Oh. See it? it says troublemaking. Uh, you know, you gotta beat the crap out of them. Once you kill them all, you have 13 minutes, 20 seconds to defeat them all. If you finish it earlier than that, you get a better rating, uh, which is actually a little bit more XP and a little bit more money. And if you join a, a, a grand company, which you have to later on anyways the game makes you choose a grand company because there's three of them and uh you can actually buy items with better equipment or you can buy stuff to build the house which it's kind of hard to get a house so it's kind of sucks. i don't think i'm gonna go for a house houses sound complicated there's more people who are like big kill to go get a plot of land Spawning. Oh, there's one way. No, no, not that one. There we go. I don't want to get closer to the big monster tree thing, but. Check to your left. Uh, yomps or whatever is the distance. So sometimes you'll see some of your spells will say like 15 yomps, 30 yomps. Hey, he's running away! Stay right there. You got 240 XP and how many ever uh, coins? Six coins. And of course, it's a low level one. Yeah, once you defeat the fate, they just disappear or get him. Bro, those motherfuckers <laughs> run. They be booking it! They're like, nah, this guy fucked us up. We out. Yeah, you better be careful with them. They, they got aggro on you too. You see the red symbols? Oh, he buffs and stuff? <laughs> no potions needed. They give you like almost infinite mana. Did you see it with some of these tanks fight? They have a uh, surplus of a health. But they also have some of these skills where like, as long as you're dealing damage, you heal also. Uh, some of these tanks, you, some of these tanks, you don't even have to worry. If they know what they're doing, you don't even have to worry about them sometimes. See, if I if I do a tank, I'm going with a paladin.
you. Oh, um, this one gives strength, intelligence. Ooh, a hundred guilt. Yeah. You can use that or use money. <laughs> Get them close first. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Um, Compared to this armor piece, anyway, it did. This 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 cloak looks stupid. <laughs> Is there a way to change it? Change the look? Uh, yes, actually. But you have to go do it through your glamour. Uh, you got to go back to the inn. Oh, I don't have an inn. I don't trust them. They just want to steal my money. Ah, no, it's free. The inn's free. They're right there. You get to you do your mental properties and stuff like that. That's your merchant and men's right there. The the little toolbar, whatever. The little hammer. They fix your items. They cost money though. Where do I get? Oh. How do I get uh, you won't here? be able to get. You won't be able to get your chocobo until you get to level twenty. I want to say. How do I get inside? There's a uh, quest it's... inside. No, it's behind it. Behind the building. Go around the building to the back. <laughs> yeah, there, there's some quests they'll do that crap. They don't. They don't want to give you the XP. They just want to give you the thought. Yeah. Alrighty, brother. I'm uh, I might have to get off. Uh, I won't be back until like two thirty Eastern Standard Time. I, I'm in the East Coast, that's why. I don't know time differences. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if I I go with the you? I will see you when I see you. Yeah. What state are you in? I'm in Missouri. Missouri. Okay, so yeah, you're an hour behind me. I'm an hour forward from you. Don't tell me you're from Joplin or something. No. <laughs> Neosho? I'm close. <laughs> I'm close. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll, uh, Jeff City. Jeff City. Okay, I know where you're at. Uh, I drove, I drove, I drive trucks. Well, I did drive trucks. So I used to go to Springfield, the uh, Missouri Underground Caves, uh, the Craft Caves. I don't know if you know them. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't travel They're very big. Often. Big caves underground that craft, uh, like craft Heinz, macaroni, cheese, ketchup, and shit like that. Uh, they have an underground system where, like, big warehouses underground. You're talking about, like, good 40, 50 feet, and you have semi trucks just driving down there, picking up and dropping off trailers. So, there's a lot of stuff down there. <laughs> I knew craft but I've had, I'm, was sus. Yeah, so I, I go down there a lot, and then I used to pick up in Joplin in Missouri, so I know uh, all the stuff out there. People be, like, I have other friends that they live in, like, California and Arizona and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from Phoenix. Oh, yeah, I hate Phoenix. I'll be down there next week. <laughs> oh, we should hang out. Nah, I don't know you that good. <laughs> so I'll tell them like, my money. That's why I was telling them, man. I was like, nah. We could be internet friends, bro. We could be gaming friends. Uh, knowing each other, I don't know if you might be a serial killer in real life. You know what I'm saying? Nah, my knife won't <laughs> hurt you. Not on the first day, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, it's just kind of here and there, you know. What? All right. My grandma just got back with food, so I'm probably going to get off as well. Yeah, well, all right, brother. Um, like I said, anytime you need some questions answered, if not, if I don't have them, I'll probably uh, look them up for you. Um, but you're more than welcome to hit me up anytime here on Discord or on uh, on Twitch. You got my username right there. Um, but, uh, oh, all righty then, bro. I'll catch you later. I got to get going. I got to go pick up my kids from school. Take it easy. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.